For our final project, we decided to remake Super Cratebox, a 2D shoot 'em up style indie game. Since the brilliant developers decided to calibrate the speed of the game with your monitor refresh rate, the game now runs impossibly fast, completely unplayable on 60 plus FPS. In order to resuscitate this game back to its 30 FPS glory, Jeffrey and I decided that this would be the perfect project to demonstrate our 319 skills. In this project, we used the TM4C microcontroller from TI, which by the way stands for Too Magical for the Average CS Major to Comprehend. We used state-of-the-art, barely functional slide potentiometers and spark fun buttons as input, a 6-bit DAC to play sounds, and a $3 ST7735 LCD display that we found off some shady Chinese website. We began by designing our own level, aiming to maintain the style of the original game while including flourishes of our own creative talent. Namely, our laziness manifested itself perfectly as a rest area, complete with a couch and coffee. Here, the player can relax without any danger from incoming enemies. Completely coincidentally, this also meant that there was no reason to program a pause button. Our game runs in two languages, English and Spanish. Each language has its own title screen, many options, and most importantly, the couch has been renamed to Sofa. Before the game begins, we greet each player with a custom insert name menu so that we may commit identity theft under the guise of personalization. This ensures that we at least get something out of our efforts, since there's no real way we win this competition. To select your name, simply move the slide pot to reposition the cursor, and buttons to toggle or select. There is a delete option. The game controls are simple, move the slide pot to control horizontal movement, and buttons to jump or shoot. The gameplay is equally straightforward. Jump around the platforms and collect the randomly generated crates to increase your score. Each crate gives you a random gun, either a revolver, shotgun, or machine gun, each with their own sound effects and animations. However, you need to avoid contact with the enemies constantly coming at you from above. They will utterly demolish you just like Dr. Pat did on the 306 final. Luckily, the enemies will eventually fall into the fire pit and be gone forever. Of course, there is a game over screen just to spite you. In addition to the bland and basic elements of our game, we not only injected our code with numerous beneficial upgrades to gameplay. For example, if you want your name to be even cooler than XAA12, you could slide over to this empty spot which allows you to select this nifty character. On a side note, apparently the name is supposed to be pronounced Kayo, and I don't know how I feel about that. Additionally, while our character sprites are usually rather good at transparency, one feature is that when jumping and moving, the gun delete will sometimes cover the character, causing his face to flash faster than Kayo ever could. Finally, our project would not be complete without this crucial step. Now it's a proper embedded system.